just want the honeys with the blue faces. Blue bottles, blue beamer, uh, speed racer. Money team, mini pink, team player. Ballin' like Steph Curry, let the green layer. This course will review how to create a book cover using Keynote. We will open up Keynote, new document, white, choose. Now I want to also make a comment that this will be the same way to use PowerPoint. The only difference in PowerPoint is that we will have to put in different dimensions. Keynote uses the point and PowerPoint uses inches. So we're going to delete, uh, double click to edit. We're going to go to the right to document. We're going to select slide size. We're going to choose custom slide size. We're going to enter. Let's go here and find out what we're actually going to enter. That's not it. Move this over just a little bit. Interior cover. So we're going to enter 897. by 666 all right so let's zoom out just a little bit so here is the canvas for our book cover now we're also going to go back to the interior cover page and we're going to slide in the six by nine template cover template as you see it fits perfectly there and it's six by nine and it will help us determine what our front cover is going to look like and what the back part of our cover is going to look like okay. now how do you want your cover to be so we're going to go to our internet and I have two websites that I have selected. One is called publicdomainvectors.org and the other one is called clipart, openclipart.org. All right. Now, a lot of times when doing uh, poems, you know, for me, I like to use flowers or I like to use patterns when creating something. So here we can type in flowers now this first line is usually shutterstock which cost uh, and it's very expensive to use shutterstock so we won't be using any of those but here we're going to look at something that we might think might be nice for our book I like these flowers so I'm going to Download. That's one look. And let's see what the other website has for flowers. Okay. These flowers are interesting. Let's try this one. I don't like those. So we'll download. We want the big PNG. Okay, everything we want, we want it to be super humongous big. Okay. So that will conclude the two websites we will go to. Now, I'm going to go to my downloads. Remember, I want to know where my things go gonna drag this flower I don't know what happened here this one didn't download like we wanted so I'm gonna drag we we'll just work with this one. I'm gonna drag this flower here as you see it covers the entire page so we need to just uh, grab the corner shrink it down a little bit decide what side of the book we want it to be on I want to let it go into the um, just a little bit into the back page 
do that as so and then I'm going to put my title by selecting text say true I use one line for true and select text again peace this is another line for peace because I'm going to be a little bit creative when it comes to these texts. So we're going to select our text. And we need to select text here. I'm going to go make this a little larger. like so, really big. All right, and you can see here's like this little center uh, guide here. And we don't want to go past here, we don't want to go past here. So I want something that's a little on the cursive side. Um, let's see here. We got this one. Oh, let's try another cursor for you. I think I'll try this one because that's what's inside my book, right? So we're gonna go here. Also, I like these colors here. So I'm gonna go with this red. I'm gonna click the pinwheel. There's this dropper here. We're gonna select the dropper. I'm gonna click into this red, and that changes this right here get piece use the same font make it larger I'm not going to center it right here a little away from it and I think I might just go just a little bit bigger like so right Then we're going to go to our pinwheel dropper, select this dropper here, and I think I'm going to maybe, mm, do I want that color? No, we good. We're good. All right. So here we have our true piece, and I'm going to put the text and put my name here. On the side, I'm going to use my name, keep my name in a regular font. Okay, so here we are on this. All right, so here we have a design that I feel is good. And then we do the same thing where we can uh, add this shape as a placeholder where I want to put my picture I'll go look for my picture we'll do text where we want to talk about the Arthur okay, and this is just a demo so I'm going to do something silly I'm going to just type some stuff so we could see how that's going to look when we type the real information. All right, so that will line up right there with that. Okay, and then we can put my name either right here right under my picture make this smaller like 12 point is perfect and also what I like to do is add my 
my title and add it to the back. So I selected both of them. I command C or control C and then I duplicate it. And then what we're going to do is stick the title on the back of the book. So let's move everything down a bit. So let's take that down just a little bit. It, you know, be a little smaller uh, from what it was on the the front. Okay, so we do that. And then this um, text section here will be the information about the book. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. So this information here will be just, you know, about the book. Okay. So this is what we have. Now, I don't particularly care for a white cover. That's just really up to the artist. So now that I know where my where everything is going to lay, I can feel free to change my background also let's say I want to do something else here I'm gonna add this flower to the back I think here like right here just really small and also you could put your publishing company right here if you want then I'm gonna also do something a little bit more creative here. I want to add more flowers. Okay. Give it like a little fullness, if you will. Okay. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. I'm going to drag it more off the page. So it's like a fuller bouquet of flowers, if you will. And also, I want to just kind of hide that stem of the first flower. I'm going to move my name over this way. Okay. Then, now that we know where our border is, we can remove our border. Right. And then you have your book cover. And you basically can, actually this looks nice in white. And you go to File, Export, PDF. Keep it in best quality image. So there you have that. But I'm going to change the background. So you click the background. And we're going to make the background yellow so you hit the wheel okay. and then we're going to go here because I want this yellow here oh that's too bright let's see let's try another yellow yep like that yellow better so you can choose to do this and then I don't have a picture of myself but definitely you add a picture of yourself where this box will be you add this I actually want to go just a little bit larger on my title this actually reminds me of uh, uh, this store I can't think of the store it was a 
like a tool store or something so that the colors are kind of reminding me of that but anyways so here we have a nice looking title if i go this color i might want to change this from black to red yep looks like a winner to me what do you guys think let's pull this over so i can see it So there you have it. Here's my cover. And we would save this as a PDF. Like really simple, nice look. Um, and it, it, it grabs your attention. So let's look at it in the download here. See? Nice size. And it will cut about right in here. And you'll love it. I love it. And all we need is add the information to it. So there you have your cover using Keynote. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.